Zach, what I was going to ask Christian was, yeah. in the very beginning when you guys got together here and met, was there like a moment where you, your friendship took off, or was it kind of a slow build? Like, how did that come to be? To yeah, uh, I think that first off season here. Um, I, I got here with like three, three and a half weeks left. So I was just kind of trying to, just my head was spinning, um, just trying to learn Miami's defense at that point. And then uh, that first off season, we kind of slowly kind of grow together, learn each other, kind of how he plays, how I play. And then uh, just from there, it's kind of, built to where we're at now, as you see. Uh, I was actually in Baltimore covering the team when you were mm -hmm. waived. I'm sure, you remember, I'm sure you don't remember that, but... Um, no, I'm sorry. It was my first year, so I'm good. Um, but, you know, Deshaun was saying that, you know, that was maybe something that could have been the best thing for you. Deshaun Elliott said that. Mm -hmm. um, what do you remember going through your mind um, when that happened, um, when you were waived, and then ultimately you were picked up by the Dolphins? Yeah, team? I mean, it was stressful. I mean... It uh, yeah, obviously it's terrible. I mean, look at today. Today's one of the worst days in football, in my opinion. I mean, guys out there giving their all every day in camp, and then it's, we. Have to, I mean, it's what it is. It's a fact of the matter. It's the business. It's the nature of the beast. Um, but uh, it's tough when uh, whenever that happens. I was just you know I really just prayed a lot and just kind of sat and then I just kind of figured it out. Um, we we didn't really know much. The only thing I heard was maybe Cle Cleveland was a little interested, and then uh, once waivers ended that next day, I think it was a Thursday. Uh, agent called and said, hey, you've been claimed. I'm like, all right, where am I going? He's like, I don't know yet. And then a uh, half hour later, Miami called and said, hey, there's a flight at 8 or 9. Tell me what you want to get on. So flew out at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock that night, and then here ever since. So I think God has a plan for Started sure. The game and actually helped them win. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it was, a good, it was that Cincinnati game. No. I actually played a little bit in the Giants game before the week before. We did New York, then the, the Jets, then Giants back-to-back. -back, so, But, yeah, yeah, Cincinnati was really my first game. I got some serious reps in it. Zach, let's maybe back up a little bit more and just open it up. What's your reaction to the contract extension? Man, blessed. Uh, it was, uh, it's, you know, it's one of those things you just dream about it and you work every day towards it. And it's one of those things I'm kind of like, just don't talk about it and just work. Just things will come and just go from there. And then uh, to really get to this point and, uh, in Miami and just to stay here and just be with the team, the guys I love, staff, the coaches, everybody. It's been, it's really, it's really uh, something special. How was the uh, phone call to mom and dad after the contract extension? <laughs> it was pretty good. Yeah, mom was tearing up, and dad really was just speechless. So it was uh, it's pretty crazy. So now we know you've moved out of the trailer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. what, what is, that, that was a long time ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what's the plan for yourself and life and maybe the, 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 the ranch you got? Uh, yeah, so the ranch, yeah, we got one more year left in the lease. We'll definitely be out there as back and forth. Um, we got a spot down here we love. Um, definitely for sure keeping that. And then my wife and I, uh, we kind of settled around Nashville. We think uh, off season slash post football, we kind of love that Nashville center of this country area right there. Not too cold. Now that you've been taken care of, how bad do you want to see Christian now get his so you guys can stay together long You know, that's my guy. There's nothing more I'd love than play with Christian for a long time, even longer. Um, we've been very fortunate to have three, four years together now. Me, Christian, Agba, Raekwon, Clark. Um, up front, I mean that's that's something special in itself. Um, but obviously, any extra time we can get would be incredible for Christian and Ray. How much did you learn about the business of the NFL from this process? Uh, a good amount. Just kind of seeing the inner workings of it, and I wasn't too. I really told uh, Rosenhaus, like, "Hey, look, you guys do this. Like, I just want to worry about football. I don't want to get distracted on anything else. I'm in camp. My main goal is getting better each day at football." So. Um, kind of near the end of it was when we started kind of talking and kind of realizing how things went and uh, just how the pressure on us and on uh, management as well. Can you maybe talk me through that because you hear players say that the not make it distracting, but it sounds easier than maybe it probably yeah. is. Like how yeah. how do you go through that knowing that this is potentially life changing money that mm -hmm. you know could yeah it's I mean exercise. for me it was really just keep my routine don't change anything. And we'll just stay focused on each day and just really try not to think about it. And obviously, it's there, and you got to answer calls here and there with, you know, just with different what's going on, where it's at, where we're going. Um, but really, it was just kind of just focusing in, staying, staying locked in, and uh, trying not to let that change how I play or change who I am because that's how I got here. So, yeah. Zach, if a lead, there were... if a lead round, sorry. I was going to go first. Uh, yeah. I mean, you're already out the gate. <laughs> 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 so you were already out the gate. Go ahead. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> this is birthday. Oh, okay. Happy birthday. There you go. Yeah, young. Uh, you know, 
feels like a day over 65. I'm just younger than, than you. I just want to make that. Oh, uh, a week or two, yeah. <laughs> um, you hear about players getting cut all the time, mm -hmm. including today. It's happening in this building. Yeah. For a lot of them, you never hear from them again. Mm -hmm. It's a small percentage who get an extension, an eight-figure extension, mm -hmm. like you have. What inside you, what, what has gotten you to this point, coming from that point in Baltimore? Uh, I mean, obviously none of this could be happening without, I think, my faith truly knowing there's a plan and not, uh, like I said, not stressing too much on what's happening and just focusing on what I can control. That's a big part of my thing is what I can control, what I can do for the team, what I can do for myself every day, uh, rehab more, stretch, massage, lift, whatever I need to do to stay healthy and stay on the field and to play my best ball to really get to this point that I've gotten to. My question was very similar but better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the wording, right? Yeah. My question is if a, if a late round pick mm -hmm. or an undrafted guy gets cut today yep. and texts you or calls you, what are you telling the guy? I'll tell him, man, just keep your head up. I mean, it, it, it might be over. It also might, tomorrow you might get a chance, you might get picked up and have a chance somewhere else. Um, make a good impression. Don't burn any bridges. And uh, really just. Just keep working. I mean, it's it's what it is. It's so I just tell them whatever they need. Let me know anything from here on out. Yeah, uh, Christian mentioned that you uh, always wanted a platinum grill. Um, <laughs> have you have you been begun that process of, of searching for one? Huh? I might have to. Yeah, yeah. I have not yet though. No. Are we talking mouth or car or truck? What's that? Are we talking mouth or, or truck or a barbecue? Or, oh, yeah, I thought you were talking. Oh, you're talking grill. I was thinking. See, I'm thinking. That's where I'm. At. I'm thinking cooking grill. Okay. Uh, I, I got a Traeger. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. You couldn't tell if he was trolling or if he was being serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take a guess. Has Ferris set you up for a new gym yet? Actually, just got one. They just got one. Yeah, it was actually there was in the talks when I was there my first year. Um, they just got it. I think a year or two ago. Um, so. Maybe last year, but it looks it's pretty nice. They're, they're they're moving up, you know, back to back championships. They're doing their thing. So I heard a guy on the radio today, Miami Sports Talk Radio. Mm -hmm. your, your contract came up. The guy, the fullback, what's his name? The fullback, the Vikings fullback, Leroy Hort. Leroy Hort. Thank you. He said he's been to Ferris State. Mm -hmm. He said it's one of the best party schools in, in America. <laughs> is, this, is this accurate? Is actually a very Ferris fun school? is incredible. I loved every moment there. It's in the middle of nowhere. Um, there's nothing, nothing going on, nothing really. The school's it. Um, so we, we loved it there. We enjoyed our time there. It was a good time. Um, love all my guys there. I'm still super close with all those guys. So we always make sure we make a trip every year. I mean, just, you know, when there's not a lot going on, you just kind of forced to grow together. And I think that's why their team has done what they've done because you become so close to the football team. There's not a lot of distractions. Comes to mind when you think back to those uh, YouTube workout days, Ferris. Man, it was crazy. Uh, it wasn't. Even, it was YouTube was lucky. We uh, we looked up Muscle Farm, Bodybuilding dot com, any workouts we could find. Um, it was just us in there. Like we didn't know what we were doing. We we're doing like eight by two, like bodybuilder stuff, and it was the ab absolute opposite thing you should do for football. Um, but uh, just that keeping that mindset and that process has been the biggest thing for me. Um, and a lot of those guys, they, they're quick to remind me, hey, remember what you were back then? I got a buddy uh, in Amsterdam now. He, uh, he first thing he goes, he's bro, I used to start in front of you. I'm like, you did. You did. He always makes, first, he always reminds me of that. So. You're going to bring Waddle out to the alligator hunting? No, uh, Waddle's turn? What? <laughs> alligator hunting. Have you been out to the alligator hunting? No, he hasn't. No, we'll, that, we'll definitely try to get some guys at the end of the season this year uh, to do something fun up there. Yeah. Are still involved in the in, in We the are, yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. You ever got the answer on the grill? <laughs> <laughs> with a look. I don't know if I'm going with a grill grill, though, but we'll see. Yeah. Each of the three. Yeah. Each of the three grills. Yeah.